Now to Clay County, where there's changes at the sheriff's office. Suspended Sheriff Daryl Daniels has a court date over his arrest earlier this month. News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson is joining us live outside the Clay County Courthouse for the latest developments in, in the shakeups within the Clay County Sheriff's Office. Scott? Tarek, Daryl Daniels wasn't here in court today. He did not attend his hearing virtually. An attorney was there for him. Daniels is saying he is not guilty. In court today, Daryl Daniels attorney letting the judge know the ousted sheriff is pleading not guilty on the charges he lied to investigators following his arrest just days before the primary election for sheriff. We would waive the formal reading of the information, but reserve the right to challenge any insufficiencies in the information at a later date. Now News for Jax is learning about changes in CCSO, including changes in senior leadership by the interim sheriff, Matt Walsh, who is holding the spot until newly elected sheriff, Michelle Cook, takes over in January. News for Jax crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson says he's surprised there would be changes before Cook takes over, changes that include the retirement of undersheriff Ray Walden the day after the election. Unless he has been speaking with uh, Sheriff elect Cook, uh, and they're in cahoots of what she wants so that it'll be a smoother transition once she gets there. Uh, but being an interim sheriff, I would be surprised uh, if he's firing people or uh, relieving them of, of their duties in one spot and put them in, putting them in another because he's just there temporarily. One other note is a video removed from the CCSO social media accounts. Following his arrest, Daniels put a video on YouTube professing his innocence. That video has been removed. CCSO tells News for Jax sure, at so the interim sheriff's okay. discretion. The last we heard from Daryl Daniels was election night when he lost. A statement from his campaign essentially saying his arrest was politically motivated, questioning the election results. Since then, I've reached out to both his lawyers and his campaign spokesperson have not heard back since election night. His next court date is in October. We're live in Green Cove Springs. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.